Hey everyone, so today I will be doing a review of some Ultimate Guard deck boxes. Over here on the left, I have the uh, Twin Flip and Tray 200 plus version. And on the right, I have the Twin Flip and Tray 266 plus version. Both of them are the Xeno Scan material. Uh, before I jump into things, I want to call out that this video is in no way sponsored. I was just um, in the market for a double deck box that could hold Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth about the actual like functionality or build quality uh, or aesthetics of the boxes. Um, there are plenty of other YouTube videos that you can look at for that. I'm mainly going to be describing the um, way I intend to use them, which is again for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, specifically for triple sleeve Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which I understand is a little bit of an edge case, a little bit more niche. Um, I realize that some people don't even double sleeve the cards, a lot of people single sleeve, but I personally like to triple sleeve some of my um, more expensive decks. So I was looking for a deck box that could hold two triple sleeve decks along with their side decks, along with their extra decks. Um, yeah, so I will give a quick um, compare and contrast of the two boxes, um, like physically. But before I do that, let me show you the boxes that came in so you can see some of the stats. This is for the black one or the 200 plus version. It is supposed to be able to hold 200 double sleeved cards. Uh, that means 100 on each side or 240 single sleeve cards. And then for the green one or the 266 plus version, that's 266 double sleeve cards or 133 per side or about 315 single sleeve cards. So about 157 per side. Um, now I'll do a quick compare and contrast of like the dimensions of the boxes for you guys. You can see that the main dimension that they differ on is the length. The uh, 266 plus version is just under two inches longer. I would say that's about, you know, 1.8 inches or something like that, maybe 1.9. Uh, in terms of the height, the height is actually very similar, if not the same. Um, it's very similar. The green one is maybe slightly taller. You can see that it's slightly taller. And then in terms of the width, it is also almost the same, um, if not the same. Let's line them up here. Yeah, I would say it's it's almost the same. Maybe the green one is slightly, slightly. No, it's pretty, it's pretty much the same. Um, so the, really the only dimension that they vary in is the length. Um, again, they're both um, double deck boxes. So they open pretty similarly like this with um, you know, one box per side. Um, I will say that the main, the main difference here is that uh, for the black one, the 200 plus version, um, you only have really one way to put the deck box in and that is that is this way. You can't rotate it because the cards won't fit and you can't rotate it this way. Um, whereas for the green one, you do have the option if you would like to rotate the deck box. So you can place it this way or you can also place it this way or this way. And the cards will still fit um, and the benefit of this is that you can place them both this way and then the box could stand vertically like a tower and then the dice tray will also be facing the same direction and things will be good. Um, so that is some nice additional functionality of the 266 plus one. Okay, now I'm going to take out a deck tray from each of the boxes and show you exactly how many cards can fit in terms of single and double sleeve cards. Um, so let's start with the 200 plus version, and I will start with double sleeve cards. Before going to that, um, I am using Dragon Shield sleeves with um, Ultra Pro Perfect Fit inner sleeves and these KMC uh, outer sleeves. Um, for those of you who are familiar with Dragon Shield, you'll know that these sleeves are like a little bit thicker than your average sleeve. Um, especially like in comparison to like a standard uh, Konami sleeve. So that does add some width, so keep that in mind. Okay, so, um, oh, also another thing to call out is you can place cards, you know, in either direction. So by that, I mean, you can place them this way or you can place them this way. Um, it's just personal preference. It's just that if you place them this way, this dimension is a little bit shorter than this dimension. Um, you know, actually visually, it looks a lot shorter, but in terms of the cards you can fit, it's it's pretty similar. Um, but yeah, let's go with the double sleeve first. 
So I'll put them in a longer dimension so you can you can see the maximum cards you can fit, which is this way. So that's 40 right there. And then I'll put in another 20. So that is 60. And then finally another 20. And this is gonna be a bit of a tight fit because that's about the max. Um, yeah, that's kind of a tight fit. Like I probably wouldn't even feel comfortable doing that to be honest, but it seems like you could fit about 80 double sleeve cards in here. And like I said, you can place them perpendicular if you want, but you're not gonna be able to fit quite as many. So you place them this way and you can fit like just as a tight fit. Yeah, just under 80. This is 77 right here this way. The benefit of this is that once you place it in the box, um, there is a little bit of a gap here so that when you have it in the box, it's a little bit easier to pull out. If you place the cards facing you, there's not really a gap, so it's a little bit harder to pull the cards out. But um, yeah, so that was 80 double sleeve cards in that box. We'll put these over here for later. Okay, moving on to triple sleeved. So this is what 40 triple sleeve looks like in comparison to the double sleeved. It's not too different since the only difference is the um, perfect fit inner sleeves, but you can tell that the triple sleeve does obviously add some thickness there. Okay, so that's 40. Here is another 15. And then finally, let's try another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, this is gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that is 65 triple sleeve cards. Um, would not feel comfortable putting any more than that. Okay, moving on to the other. Okay, uh, starting with double sleeves. Obviously, this dimension is a lot. You know longer than this one so this is the one that you're gonna want to put your cards in here is 40 double sleeve cards here is another 20 here is another 20 and then finally here is another this should be 20 um not this one sorry this one this is another 25 Okay, so there we go, kind of a tight fit right there. Um, yeah, that's about as many as I'm comfortable placing in there. Um, but that is 105 double sleeved cards. And then finally for triple sleeved, here is again 40, here is 15, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, another 15 so that's 70 so far and then here is another 15 okay so that's 85 triple sleeved and you can see how that fits I probably would not put any more maybe you can fit one more you can fit a couple if you really squeeze it but I don't like to really jam my cards in there okay so to summarize, for the 100 plus version, you can fit about 80 double sleeve cards or 65 triple sleeve cards. And for the one, uh, 266 plus version, you can fit about 105 double sleeve cards or about 85 triple sleeve cards. Um, like I said, I like to triple sleeve, so I will be going with the 266 plus version and I will likely be returning the 200 plus version. Um, that's about it. If this was helpful for you guys, please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks.